At All American Print Supply, we strive to always stay ahead of the curve with the equipment that we offer and the service that we provide to our customers. And this also relates to the companies that we partner with to bring the very best to our customer base. Now lately, the name of the game in our industry has been direct to film or DTF. Who's doing it? Why don't you have it? And what's the most efficient way to get this sort of digital printing done? We've been absolutely thrilled with the latest offerings from DTF Station. And now, I'd like to formally introduce the latest offering in reliable desktop direct-to-film printing, the all-new Prestige A3 Plus R. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So the R in Prestige A3 Plus R does not mean this printer's for pirates. It stands for roll printing. And you may have noticed also a little bit more of a compact design. As a matter of fact, this printer only measures in at a petite 55 pounds. Now, up next, we are gonna be looking at a thoroughly tested and safety certified high viscosity water-based textile printing ink formula. This is similar to what you'd find in a director garment printer, especially as far as soft hand feel and washability. We can also enjoy vivid color output thanks to the CMYK WW system in the printer. Now, what resolution are we gonna be producing these wonderful images at? We have a thoroughly tested and confirmed printing profile measuring in at 1440 by 720 DPI. Now, what software is going to be powering this printer on our desktop? Well, of course, we're talking about the latest edition of Digital Factory Catalink version V10 for DTF. And for more information on some of the awesome features in that RIP software, you can hit the video link card up here for more information. Now, what about some of the awesome new features? Now, we can still load in individual cut sheets up to 13 inches by 19. However, thanks to the all new independent roll feeding system, we can also load in rolls up to 13 inches wide, which means continuous hands-free printing and also very user-friendly roll storage system on the side. And with a comparable or equivalent size powder shaker, applicator, and dry machine, gosh, your desktop just turned into a print shop. Now, what sort of print head are we looking at under the hood of this machine? We're happy to announce we have the Epson 1390 print head. There's a couple features about this that I would like to touch on. We're gonna enjoy higher coverage as far as our coloring, it's gonna be faster, and we got some features to prevent any kind of clogging or issues with our nozzles, especially in regards to white ink. I do wanna to touch on a couple of the new safety feature advancements in the Prestige A3 Plus R, namely the upgraded whiting circulation and stirring. To that point, a pound power up, as soon as the machine is turned on, the motorized stirring straw will start to agitate the white ink before any whiting circulations are even performed. Now, what do we have over here? We have a convenient, user-friendly, multi-function button setup. From here, we can clear and cancel any jobs that we need. We can advance the film media during production. Now over here, this portion of the printer is gonna have a little bit of a temperature control, meaning as wet print come out, you'll have a heating sensor here with the indicated temperature right there. This is gonna help prevent the puddling or pooling of any of the ink onto our PET film. It is demonstration time. Let's take a look at the Prestige A3 Plus R in action. As we mentioned, I'm running my Catlink Digital Factory V10 for DTF edition. Got my jobs all queued up here. Let's go ahead and select our work, hit the print button, and let's see how this guy performs. It's time to see the roll action in action. So we've completed our roll printing production. Let's take a look at how we're gonna segment this off of our existing roll and prep them for transfer. Now first thing, after you've completed your manual printing, if we want to advance the feed, first we're gonna hit this button here. It's kind of like a job quit, release, has a trash can symbol. Now we have full control of moving the film inwards and outwards. Now how do we do that? We have a couple multi-function buttons here we're gonna take a look at. After the green flashing has stopped, I can use my enter button to feed the uh, roll back into the printer, like so. But now, we're actually gonna have the feed come out so we can get a nice safe cut. It's gonna be the exit button here. Now, we don't recommend the use of scissors with the removal of the film because we can lift this upwards and actually make incidental contact with the print head. However, using a blade and this groove right here where this portion of the machine actually connects to the printer, we have a nice smooth cutting line. So with one hand, we're gonna hold this nice and flat against this portion here and then using our knife, make a nice smooth cut into the groove. Now that we've safely segmented the printed portion of our roll from the roll feeder, it's time to cut. And now we can use our scissors to segment the individual transfers and prepare them for application. Being very careful, we're gonna go in and segment these different transfers out. Now we can get this ready for powdering and curing. 
Now that we have our wet printed DTF transfer film, it's time to apply our hot melt powder from Ecofreen. To do this, very quick, easy step. We're just gonna apply a small amount to the wet print. I have my tray basket here to catch any of the leftovers so I can reuse it. And in just a few motions, we're gonna make a nice even layer over the entire image, just like so, dropping off every excess here. Now, before we do anything else, we're gonna flick off any of the extra powder around the image. So aim this away from anybody in your print shop. And there we go. All right, before we dive into the curing step of our freshly powdered DTF print, we're gonna go over a little DTF workflow 101. As you notice, my printer is already preparing my next transfers. Now, what about curing? What we're doing right here is preheating the lower platen. For all my heat press cures of your DTF prints, this is gonna speed up your time tenfold. We're gonna open this up. As you can see, this was actually closed empty with nothing in there, but my lower platen is now at a nice temperature. I've also decreased my pressure on my heat press to show you this. We're gonna place this in a nice central location, and with minimal pressure, I can actually lower this to a closed position without making contact. We're getting heat from above and below. That should be enough time. Let's take a look, see if we got a good hot melt powder cure. Okay, awesome. Immediately, I can already see a visible gloss and orange peel sort of texture. These are the two signs that you're always looking for from a good cure of your hot melt powder for your DTF prints. Let's talk a little bit about what DTF is. Direct to film is referring to a very sort of specialized textile printing method using water-based ink and these special release films. Now, because this is technically a heat transfer, we can enjoy a much wider selection of compatible materials that we can apply this to. This include cotton, poly, rayon, nylon, windbreakers, treated leather, and canvas. Now, today, we're gonna be working with probably your most common garment, I'm talking about the cotton tee. Let's go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna go ahead and position my transfer. Before I do that, we're gonna give the quick pre-press, basically laying the fibers down nice and flat, giving me a smooth application area. That should be plenty, and you guys should be always doing this as your first step with any kind of digital printing or transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and position this like so onto my garment, get this nice and centered. I'm gonna protect my heating element using my trusty cover sheet. And for this transfer film, which is a hot peel, we're gonna be applying at about 330 degrees for about 15 to 20 seconds, depending on the size of our transfer. This will be done in just a moment. Now, some of you out there may feel that direct-to-garment is always the king when it comes to cotton printing or transferring. Well, there's still lots of benefits with direct-to-film in regards to cotton material. Now, one, the ink layering is gonna be a little reversed. We're gonna be doing a CMYK and then a light white overprint, and we can enjoy an approximate 30 to 40% savings. Let's go ahead and do this hot peel. Wow. Now, in addition, we can take the pre-treating step completely out of the equation that's commonly associated with direct-to-garment and still get beautiful high-resolution images. Those two together makes this a time saver and a money saver. All right, now here we have our finished product. Now, depending on your direct-to-film transfer material used, especially if it happens to be a hot peel, your finished product sometimes can give you a bit of a shine or even a gloss. Now, if you are looking for more of a matte or retail appearance, all we have to do is perform what we like to call in DTF the finishing press. All we're gonna do is place the transferred garment back into the machine, get my cover sheet to protect my elements, and we're gonna press this for about five seconds. And this is gonna do a few things. One, this will give us that matte or retail appearance that we talked about. And in addition, if I didn't remove all the powder around my transfer, this will give me a chance to burn any of that excess into the material if it was visible beforehand. But after your fitting press, we've also sealed the transfer into the material. This guy's ready to go. The Prestige A3 Plus R is gonna be a game changer for so many people. And we are thrilled to partner with DTF Station to offer such a range of different printing solutions for our customers. For more information on this awesome new equipment piece, be sure to hit the description links down below. If you do have any questions or comments, we got a section for that too. That's pretty much gonna do it for this video. My name is Estevan, we are All American Print Supply. I hope you enjoyed today how we show you you can turn your desktop into a print shop. We'll see you on the next one.